Okay, we're back again. Um, oh, with uh, the lost thing, the the T Rex level. I can never remember the names of the level. Um, so we're gonna just head this way. Normally I do this last, but as we are um, getting the secrets, I might as well. I might as well just do it. Might as well just get it, get it out of the way. Um, so as the levels go on, the videos may become a little bit longer. Um, like obviously the caves is really small. This one's kind of like it's a smallish level. It's just a lot of backwards and forwards. Um, I got to try and remember. <laughs> I think there's four secrets in this level. There's uh, one at the other waterfall, two at the other waterfall, and then one above the temple. There we go. I think we're going to have a good old dive in. Oof. There we go. I wish you could dive off at the end, but I don't think it's possible. I think she just falls in the water as she goes. I wonder if I can get my guns out though. Oh no. <laughs> I can, but fail. Um, okay. Oh, those uh, those wolves are there already. They're waiting for me. Man, the music in this game. <laughs> Makes you wonder why they chose kind of the, the rattly kind of music. That's the only way I can describe this, is rattly. Okay, now it's time for Bex the Sexy Rex. Come on, girl. I know I've seen a lot of people do different things with this. I just find that it's just easier to stay in this, um, in this little hidey hole. What is she doing? What are you doing, Bex? She did. She's kind of like she's kind of gone through there, but all right. So before, when I was doing this level, I had to go down past the waterfall to get the the little Velociraptor, um, and was losing health because it was just it was just extra time. I damaged myself. I got killed once here. Um, by coming up through the water and actually I don't need that um, so since I've been doing it this way it seems to be a lot quicker so my advice is to anybody use that way instead <laughs> it took me months and months and then I was like oh there's another way in Okay, so there's three secrets in this area. Oh, there's another one actually, back where the cogs are. So, maybe there's five. Okay.
like I said, it's been such a long time since I did actual full-on secrets. Come on. Up you go. Come on, Lara. What are you doing? Can you go up? Why is she doing this? Normally she just goes straight up. What's going on? I don't know whether it's just glitched out. Let me try each one. There we go. Oh, that's why. very finicky. Some Mars bars too. Perfect. Alright, now we can just drop back in the water and it'll be fine. Alright. There's some more Rexes that we need to get rid of as well, which we can do. Just try and remember this as well. I think it's this one. Yep. It's very long winded. For some reason then I was going to do like a stand, like a running and I thought, oh no, if I do that, am I going to hit my head? I'm so glad I, I went for the other one. It's getting back, that's the issue. Um, I think before I just climbed down somehow. I don't know whether it was this side. Oh, it was this side. This seems just more, I don't know, it just seems like a little bit of a safer route than the other way. That worked. Sometimes on this level you can get a glitch with um, Bex, um, where if you, if you go too near her and she's near the bridge, she can flick you on top of the bridge and you can get the cog instead of um, Instead of climbing all the way around like I'm about to do, she flicks you on top of it. Which I've only had once, but apparently it has known to happen to quite a few people. But it wouldn't be a proper 90s game without a glitch, right? And these glitches can be great or just devastating. <laughs> Most of the time they end up being quite good. Um, except the folly glitch. The folly glitch, I think. I've had it twice now and it's been the worst glitch I've ever had. You can't, like, get anywhere because it locks you in that room. And when I get to that level, I'll, um, I'll show you what I mean about the glitch. Well, actually, I won't because <laughs> I'll tell you about it, but... Um, or I'll record it separately so you guys can see the glitch because obviously I'm I'm trying to do it without without deaths in level and if I do that that means I'd have to just restart the whole thing
Okay, now it's the climb back up to the top of the uh, the waterfall. And then we should have just the one secret left. I wish she could just grab onto that. so annoying. Oh, I'm going to have to climb up to the top now, aren't I? Start again. I, I thought I was being all clever. Clearly not. I don't know why I pressed grab when I did it, quite honestly. <laughs> No, as she normally says, when you do something wrong in this game. <laughs> okay, put the cogs in. For a little advice for people who, who haven't played this, who are interested in playing this game, sometimes the animations when you open doors, levers, cogs, whatever, it, it takes ages. So if you get your gun out while you do it, it actually stops the animation. And I think a lot of speedrunners use that to kind of get ahead of the game. I mean, I think this level's done in like three minutes. I think like it's like I think that's glitches though, but it just ends up being ridiculous. <laughs> Not gonna get them. I'm gonna dive in. Oh, look at that. And that is the end of um, this level, which I can't remember the name of. There we go. So if you've enjoyed it, please put uh, a comment at the end saying lost. Um, got all the secrets. Woohoo! We're, we're almost at the end of the Peru levels. Uh, we've just got the, um, the tomb next. Um, I will see you next time.